Hello, this is Brett McDonald with the National Weather Service in Riverton, bringing you a weekend weather briefing for Father's Day weekend 2013. Well, it's been a pretty active weather week across western and central Wyoming. We've had quite a few reports of severe weather, and yesterday was no exception. We had a great thunderstorm move through Teton County, Jackson area, picture on the left, and you can see what fell out of it, some hailstones up to an inch in diameter. And then as the storms moved further to the northeast, we had some, again, more storms in the Bighorn Basin, picture here in the central Bighorn Basin in Winchester. And then as they moved through Grable and then across the Bighorn Mountains into Buffalo, again, they dropped some pretty good sized hail, shredded a lot of leaves, and we did get a golf ball hail report 20 miles south of Buffalo at about 8.30 last night. Thanks a lot for sending us your pictures and giving us your reports. Let's look into the forecast though for the weekend. The low pressure center that's been giving us all this active weather is going to continue to move across southern Canada and northern Montana tomorrow and it will bring a cool front to the state. <clears throat> so you'll see quite a decrease in temperatures tomorrow. The winds will pick up as well from the west and we'll still have some showers and, and some very light thunderstorms expected mainly across the Yellowstone area and that's what the Storm Prediction Center is showing here on their convective outlook for tomorrow how the thunderstorms are beginning to be confined mostly to Montana tomorrow just clipping the northwest part of the state with the slight chance of severe storms into the northern plains as we move into Sunday uh, we start to get a little bit of high pressure building in across the Great Basin fairly nice pattern across the day on Saturday with thunderstorms expected mostly across eastern Wyoming and again the Storm Prediction Center is indicating this with their convective outlook for Saturday so if you're venturing to that part of the state just again pay attention to where the thunderstorms are possible on Sunday we'll have high pressure about in the same place with a little bit of moisture moving through and weak northwest flow so we're expecting a few afternoon and early evening showers across the Yellowstone National Park, the Absorcas, and the Bighorn Mountains. On Monday, again, fairly similar pattern, high pressure, kind of more over the Rockies, similar temperatures, and again, similar moisture area with showers in the afternoon and in the early evening hours. Now, on Tuesday, we're expecting a little bit of a shift in the pattern again as the high pressure moves off to the east, and we get another low pressure system moving into the Pacific Northwest. This will increase southwest winds late on Tuesday across western Wyoming. And then on Wednesday, as this low pressure system moves toward the state, we'll see the winds pick up quite a bit in western and central Wyoming with the temperatures increasing both Tuesday and Wednesday and then some showers expected across western Wyoming late in the day on Wednesday. So let's look at what the temperatures expected across western and central Wyoming. Again, Friday should be the coolest day of the period after the cool front moves through in the morning. Saturday through Monday, about normal through the area for most of the, the state. And then it's, we'll see an increase in temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday as that low pressure center moves towards us and brings drier, warmer air into the area. Looking ahead at the time frame past that, we see that the Climate Prediction Center is showing below normal temperatures across the Pacific Northwest most likely associated with that low pressure system that is expected to move in during the latter end of the week and then temperature sorry precipitation across Wyoming will be about normal probably drier more in the south southern part of the state and possibly a little bit wetter than normal across the northern part of the state well, that concludes our weather briefing for Father's Day weekend hope everybody has a safe and enjoyable weekend Again, we appreciate so much everybody's reports that they're sending in, whether giving us a call, emailing, Facebook, Twitter. There's a lot of options for you to let us know what's going on at the ground, and we so appreciate it. Have a great weekend.